Look at here. Minimize the overall prediction error square. Minimize is what we call it. least. Overall prediction error square. You see square. This is what we call it. D square one. Huh? Approach or D square method. Okay? Use this idea to find the best prediction line. It's called a, a least square regression line. Okay? Now, uh, let's look at here. So we want to find A and B, a good one, Y intercept, and a good one, regression slope, wisely. Okay? How can we choose wisely? Well, this concept is actually from what? From calculus. Okay? Let's look at here. In calculus, if you haven't done calculus, don't worry, okay? Just consider this is what? XY information, okay? So this function is called f of x. Now, at this point, at this point, say, there's a point called what? D, okay? And this point is what? Called E. This is called local what? Local minimum. And this is called local maximum. And how can you find local maximum or local minimum from calculus? All you need to do is take derivative and set it equal to what? Zero. Am I correct? And you check what? The point. If the second derivative is what? Huh? Second derivative is what? Is negative. That's what? That's maximum. Second derivative is positive. That's minimum. Right? So you can double check. Well, this point is what? Is greater than zero. That is what? That is local minimum. Okay? If the second derivative at that point less than zero, that's what? That's local maximum okay local maximum and local minimum but the problem right now we have is what it's not just a single variable you have two variables when you have two variables you need to use what we call partial derivative okay and it works what very similar to what you learn from calculus okay all you need to do is first one you take a partial derivative with respect to what with respect to A. Here, A is available. B is treated as a constant. Okay? And you set this one equal to zero. Okay? Now, second one, you take partial derivative. Okay, but this one with respect to B. Okay, B is available, A is treated as constant. And you take what? The derivative, just like what you learned from calculus. Okay, this is set equal to zero. Then you have two unknown with two equations. You solve for what? Solve for A and B. Okay, and this equation, this equation, in statistics, we call this is what? We call this is normal equation. Normal equations, okay? And for normal equation, what can you get? Hmm? For normal equation, look at here. Why you say equal to zero? Because local maximum, local minimum, the tangent line, the slope of the tangent line, always equal to what? zero okay so you set it equal to zero and solve them for a and b solve for a and b 
And if we solve the normal equation, we find B is what? R times what? Standard deviation Y over standard deviation X. Okay? Or alternatively, the summation what? Xi minus X bar squared. And this is summation Xi minus X bar times Yi minus Y bar. Okay? Alternative formula. Okay? Alternative formula. Or equivalently, you can write as summation Xi squared minus Mx bar squared. And this is summation Xi Yi minus n x bar y bar okay now this is what the slope and then how about a okay a is y intercept it's a a is what average y minus b times what average x okay this is a formula required to find what the best prediction line you give me Find, find what? B, the slope wisely. You find Y intercept A wisely. How can you find A and B wisely? Follow the formula, okay? You find then what? Wisely. Is that clear? Now, one more question. In order to determine B and A, which one you want to find first? You want to find B first or find A first? Answer is what? You need to find B first. Why you want to find B first? Because in finding A, you need to know what B is, okay? So you want to find what? Find B first. We need to find B first, okay? Okay, please flip to the next page. This is a concrete example, okay? This is a concrete example. Now let's look at the example together. John's parents recorded his height at the various age between 36 and 66 months. Below is a record of the result. Okay? This is a given data set. X1, Y1. X2, Y2. Up to what? X5. Wi-Fi. We are given a bivariate data set. This one says when John was what? 36 months old, which is three years old. How tall was John? 34 inches tall. 34 inches tall is what? 85 centimeter. Okay? It's not very tall. And look at here. 66 months old is what? Huh? It's five year and a half. Okay? How tall was John then? 45 inches. 45 inches is what? 111, uh, 100, this is 100, mm, 12.5, okay? 112.5 centimeter tall, okay? So yeah, as you can see, John was not very tall, okay? Now, when people give out the data set, x1, y1, up to what? xn, yn. To study the data set, what should we do first? Okay, we should what? Huh? When people give us the data set, to describe the data set, we should use a graph or use what? Numbers. We should use graph first. And the graph we used is called what? It's called scalar plot. If you look at the scalar plot, you use what? What do you find? You find almost all the points are on the line. You find there is a very strong linear trend. Okay? So you believe there is a linear relationship between what? Between X and Y. Okay, X is what? H. And Y is what? Height. Okay, so you think, okay, you can find a prediction line, okay? 
since the data indicates, okay, a linear prediction line is what? Reasonable, okay? Now, this is a situation when we describe the data with graph. The graph we use is called a scalar plot, okay? Now, how about the number used? To describe the relationship between two variables, the fine number people like to use. For univariate data, the fine number summary is what? Minimum, Q1, Q2, and Q3, and maximum. But when you describe the relationship between what, X and Y, what are the fine numbers people like to use? People like to use what? X bar, average X, okay? And average Y. Standard deviation X, and standard deviation y and correlation coefficient. This is a fine numbers people like to use. And I provide you the number here, okay? X bar is 52.8 month. Standard deviation X is 11.54 month. And average Y is 40.2 40 inches. And standard deviation Y is 4.32 inches. And the correlation coefficient is what? 0 0.998 because this is almost like a straight line, okay? Now, after we describe the data with what? A graph and with numbers, we're going to use what? Huh? We're going to use regression line to make the prediction. And regression line is the best prediction line when least square criterion is used, okay? So how can we find the best prediction line, okay? Say, the regression line denoted by y hat equal to a plus b1 x now a and b which one you want to find first well you want to find b first because in finding a you need to know what b is so how are we going to find regression slope i provide you a several formula okay several formula i think um, look at here. This is a formula I provide you, right? Three formula. But from given information, it looks like this one is the best, okay? Because we have five number summary provided, five number summary. So B, regression slope is determined by R, correlation coefficient, times standard deviation Y over standard deviation X. And R is what? 0 0.998 okay r is 0. Point, r is 0 0.998 and what standard deviation y it's what 4.32 divided by standard deviation x is what 11.54 so this number gives 0 0.3732 okay now, after you find B, you are ready to find A, the Y-intercept, okay? And the Y-intercept is obtained by average Y minus B times what? Average X. Now, average Y is given here, 40.2 inches, minus B 0.3732 times average x, 52.1, 52.81 month. So after you calculate, you find this number is 20.147, okay? So from the given data set, the best prediction line, Okay, from the given data set, the best prediction line is what? Is y hat 
equal to a 20.147 plus 0 0.3736 x okay this is we use least square method to find the best prediction line okay i leave an extra exercise here okay you can use this one to find if this is a given data set what will be the best what prediction line the least square regression line uh try to use the formula i just covered and find out the line is actually y hat equal to 2.8 plus 0.55x okay this one leave you as an exercise okay